Yeah, yeah, what's good, yo? Welcome to another episode of Real Talk, where, as always, it shit's real, we talk about it. I'm your host for tonight, Pat Scorpion, the younger represent, and as always, I got my man with me. I'm gonna let him introduce himself. Yo, what it do? It's LB, a lot of dub boss, aka Shutterworth the God, the GO artist, the Soul Wolves creator, ringgangradio.com in the building. Yeah. Yes. yes, sir. Ring Gang in the house forever and always. And as always, I got my other man with me. I'm gonna let him introduce himself. What up? What up, y'all? You already know who this is. Your boy King P, Bodega P, Bodega Boxing in the building. Ring Gang Radio all day. We taking over. Shout out to Teofilma Lopez. Hey, you know, Bodega P, you know, he's not in the sewers today, you know, he's actually, you know, in, in a in a secure location where you don't need to know where he is, you know what I'm saying? But he's just not in the sewer fighting crime like he usually does, you know, he's taking a day off and whatnot, you know, so yeah, as always, man, we salute you for your service for keeping our city safe and whatnot. And last but certainly not least, man, I got my other man with me, I'm gonna let him introduce himself. Yo, you already know what it is, live from Cloud9, it's your boy, Ron. Shot town zone, nigga. We here. What's up? Yeah, my nigga, my nigga Rome, aka Chicago Wind, nigga. Leaving niggas in the breeze, man. You can dig it, man. You know, he's on cloud nine, you know what I'm saying? Because no one can touch him. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we're glad to have you on the show as always, Rome. Uh, you know, so yeah, man, you know, we got you know, get, get into a little recap of of the main card between TFA and Lubris and Facilo Machenko. But before we get into that fight, you know, I just want to shed some light on the other two fights that were on the main card, man. Uh, first of all, you know, yeah, I know this is P, you know, this is P's favorite boxer, quote unquote, sarcasm. You know, Edgar Belanga versus Linnell Bellows, man. <laughs> you know, and now, if you're not hip to what's going on with Berlanga, Berlanga right now was riding a 14 and 0 with 14 knockouts, all the knockouts in the first round. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, like the record is for first round consecutive first, it's like 21 or 22 or some shit like that. So top rank, you know, as top rank does, you know, because you know boxing is part carny, it's been playing up that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, no one can survive a round with Edgar Belanga, all that type of shit. And you know, there and you know, and obviously we've seen this before with you know punchers. You know, everyone's a puncher, punchers, but they eventually some some get exposed. You know, some, you know, the, you know, they realize like they're elite, like a triple G or whatever. And it's not easy to expose them, if at all, you know. So, you know, Berlanga right now is, you know, he's still a question mark. But uh, P, what did you think of this dude getting rid of Bellows in the first round? Share your thoughts, bro. P, share your thoughts, bro. <laughs> I mean, it's just like... It is what it is at this point. And once I saw it happen, I'm just like, once he had dude hurt, I was like, oh, he's gonna finish him. And then they're gonna wave it off and they're gonna all celebrate. Ah, look, another, another knock and the knockout streak continues. First round, I'm just like, oh, I'm tired. I'm tired of this shit. Like, Hey, um, for anybody that wonders why I'm tired about this, it's listen, oh, you know, how come you don't like, you know, seeing knockouts? Uh, what? A Puerto Rican fighter getting all these these knockouts in the first round. You got to be hyped. I'm like, but I'm really not because, and I'll, I'll tell you why. Just imagine going to go see Avengers Infinity Wars. And in the beginning scene, you see Thanos and then you see him up against Hulk. And all of a sudden, you just see Thanos beat the shit out of Hulk. Just drag him through, just beat his ass. And you're thinking, oh shit, Thanos is legit. Now, imagine seeing that 15 times. By the 15th time, you're gonna be like, ah, okay, I get it. It's like, it is what it is at this point. That's that's the point that I'm at with Berlanga. I'm like, okay, we've had enough of the 15th. And they're playing it up as a gimmick. And people last night were like, yo, but P, you know, 
What's wrong with that? Like, you got to get him out of there. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, it's, it's not his fault. And I'm not saying it's his fault. You know what I'm saying? I like Berlanga. I, I like his potential. He definitely is a puncher. Definitely has 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 that in the, in his, you know, in his gloves. But it's just a matter of what can you really learn from somebody if they're just getting people out in the first round? You, you, eventually, you're going to run into somebody who you're not going to just be able to get out like that. So how is this preparing him? How does this tell me anything about his future other than he has power? Because if you're fighting, oh, well, they're just putting, you know, they're just putting whoever's in front of him. Well, then maybe we need to stop putting people in front of him that can't fucking take it. Well, this guy never, this guy, Bello, he never got knocked out. He was 20, 25 and 20, how am I, I don't remember, but he's never been knocked out. I'm like, okay, but in his last six fights before this, he had three losses, two wins, and a draw against nobodies. So it's obviously this guy's a nobody, and I could tell from the first minute that he just didn't belong. Like you could, I look, I can tell, I can tell. So it's just like you know, props to him. He did what he had to do. You know what I'm saying? But I'm getting tired of this fucking this 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 whole charade. This 15, 15 rounds, 15, 15 first round knockouts. So. Shout out to Berlanga. He did his thing. You know, I fuck with his potential. He's got talent, but let's see more already. I'm, I'm tired of it. Damn, yo. You know, that's Bodega P, the Mad Rican, man. Tom, why are you mad, son? Damn. Yeah, for real. <laughs> this just went off on his own verse and, like, and everything. God damn. Tell him why you mad. <laughs> you know, no, but I get what you're saying, too, because... I mean, Bellows too. I mean, he's not necessarily a no. I mean, I mean, he's 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 his promoter is Floyd, you know, Floyd Mayweather, you know. So I mean, he's he's been on TV before, but he's one of them cats that never really lived up his potential because you know he has them, you know, he has a couple of them early losses, you know. Yeah. So, you know, but, uh, but he is he is, he is a serviceable guy, you know. But yeah, like in that fight. Well, I'm, I'm just saying, when I saw it, like, regardless of how serviceable you think he is, maybe he is, but when I looked in that ring and I saw Bellu versus Berlanga, it didn't look like Bellu belonged. That's all yeah, I'm Yeah, because, because he hurt some shit. Like, he th- he th- I think he took, like, a left hook, and this nigga's eyes went wide. I was like, oh, damn. You know, and then after that, Berlanga was just, like, he saw that shit, too, and just moved in. You know, like, I mean, he tried to throw. I mean, Bellu's has decent power, but... Berlingo just like you know just walked him down and just started yeah, throwing. Yeah, I think he landed like one good punch. Yeah, and it's like it, you could tell like it kind of stopped Berlinga in his tracks like momentarily, like but then it just kept coming. Like it was like a quick, like oh okay yeah the guy punched back and then okay we just take him to work now boom boom and for you know it was over and we got the same same result as before. Yeah, you know, Berlingo and within a minute, though, I mean, he 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 gave him a deep cut over his eye and had blood come out of his ear. So I mean, you know, that's that that's was the quickest. You know, that was like a Kimbo slice fight. Like, you know, <laughs> busted that nigga up pretty quick. Like, yeah, I was even like, that one Kimbo fight where he he fuck up the dude's eye and his you know his face and you're like, oh damn, like. Yeah, you know, yeah, he was, he was fucking around. And then the funny thing is that people, I have people on Twitter that were talking about like that shit was stopped too early. I was like, do you want to see that dude die? Like Bellows, like if he was, uh, he was, go, he was gonna go down. Like he, there was only, a, there was like, yeah, no, it was, a, it was a matter of time. The, as soon as you saw the 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 the, the cut produce, I'm like, oh, like he, like just just from one punch, that big ass cut came. I'm like, damn. Yeah, it was like like a catch. I had the nerve to say like, no, like the referee jumped in in time because you don't want to see you know a guy like go to the camp because if he went to the camp, he's probably gonna get carried out. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's just like. You know, people people gotta stop being stupid sometimes. Like sometimes yeah, there are rightful stoppages, and that was a rightful stoppage. Bellows wasn't throwing shit back. You know, he was just catching some work. He was catching bricks. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, you know, don't be stupid out there. But you know, Berlin, of course, like I said, they, you know, he's 15 and 0, 15 knockouts, 15 first round knockouts. You know, so you know that Bob is going to milk this again until they get nearer to the record. Yeah, he's he's basically he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna um keep putting him in in, in Bill Goldberg squash matches. <laughs> hey, you better get uh my boy uh, uh Cassius co- collared. Yeah. <laughs> get him a ring. Um, you know, somebody. It, it, it's time. Uh, get uh, Charles Conwell. You know. 
Well, all I know is don't call Darnell Boone. Do he he fights at super middleweight? You know they get Boone in there. Boone will probably extend him and probably knock his ass out if he's not careful. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like, and, that, and, and that's the, con, the that's the conundrum because it's like, okay, well, I want to see him step up in competition, but it's like, well, okay, who can you get him that's a step up that like won't make him like? Because you don't want to go from oh, like having him just obliterate everybody to going to a guy that like just makes him look really, really bad, like gradual steps. So it's like that weird position that he's in, like. Like, would you even want to put him in there, in there with somebody like a, like a Rocky Fielding or a John Ryder? Like, eh, even that might be too much at this point. But it's like, nah, yeah. Rocky Fielding, he'll handle Rocky Fielding. John Ryder is a whole different. Nah, it's like I feel like John Ryder already kind of proved he world class. Like, yeah, yeah. like there's a, like there's a, a couple uh, steps uh, below John Ryder. Yeah, like I a, mean, a, a Vaughn Alexander. Yeah, that's what that's yeah, that's, 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 that's more crazy. like it. Yeah, Vaughn Alexander is a tough is a tough I mean, he's he's teak tough. Like, you know, you know, he yeah, has he punch a bit, so you know, at least, you know, he's crafty. I mean, that's the next type of level fight we wanna see. You know, somebody who's gonna come in there to win, you know, it's tough, could punch a bit, so yeah, yeah that's some craft. He's not gonna just go and have his hands down and get his ass well, you know. Yeah. Some so we can see what kind of fighter Berlanga really is, you know. Right, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, but yeah, like I said, you know, Bob is, I I actually definitely Bob keeping up the gimmick, though. But like I say, I mean, it could easily backfire because like I said, you just never know sometimes, you know, a jobber might get, you know, know, might get that motivation and bam, you know, ice his ass. Yeah. You know, know, I mean, it's it's more of a game in boxing, you just never know, but I mean, hey, the crowd seemed, well, no, I wouldn't say the crowd seemed to like it. Actually, there there was a crowd, but it was just like a hundred, you know, like the first responders that Bob gave the tickets to or something like that. I mean, everybody that was watching liked it because the, the, you know, the, the social media showed that they liked it. So, I mean, if there was a crowd, they would have been went wild. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely. And then, you know, and just to keep the momentum too, like in the next fight, the co-main, you know, we had, you know, Arnold Barboza Jr. versus Alex Alcido. You know, and, you know of course, if you're a boxing hardcore, you like, you know, okay, this is, this is going to be the shit right here. You know, because, you know, Salcido... God bless his heart. You know he, he's not gonna have a long career. He's just not. You know I was, I was texting this. I was texting LB about this fight. Like all throughout this fight, man, Sasita does not know the word defense. He really does not know the word defense. Like, I mean, he he'll eat any fucking shot to the face. Like, I mean, not even no no head movement, none of that shit. Like, and even then, he was still able to cause Barbosa a lot of trouble, more trouble than I thought he would have. No, I, I see. I, I thought people were underrating Saucedo in that aspect of like, yeah, his defense is really, really shitty. But how did we know that Barboza? Because he has power, so he could hurt Barboza. So like, and he was like, hurting Barboza. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, like I don't know why people like went into it like, ah, oh, well, Saucedo's gonna get his ass beat, yada yada. He might be doing some ass whooping himself. Yeah, that's yeah I mean, I thought it was a good matchmaking. I thought it was a good fight. Um, Same here. It shows like it gives um, Saucedo a, a second chance, a second chance of showing, hey, I deserve to be at the top. You know, one forty. You know, world class level. You know, the hooker fight was just a bad night. You know, I, I improved. Like, so yeah. And then for Barbosa Junior, shows like, look, you know, it's your. This is your step up battle. Like, are you, are, you, are you next to be on, or are you gonna fall off here? So, nah, that was good matchmaking. That's a good co-main for a, a, a good ass um, yeah. main event, really. Yeah, yeah I mean, it definitely, it definitely was. It definitely was. Yeah, I mean, so yeah. even dropped him too. And although yeah. he it was a slip. And like, yeah, that was bullshit. From that, that, I knew that once I once I saw that, I'm like, that's a knock, that's a knockdown. And then I saw the slip. I'm like, oh, you can't be, you can't be serious. Yeah. Yeah, but that replay rule, which I'm like, I'm on the fence about. I mean, but no, I like, like it. it. Fuck it. Yeah, well, I, 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 I want this to replay. Well, at least this time it only took like ten seconds for them because I think the last time we did, it took like forever and a fucking day, and you know, niggas were able to catch their second win. This one only took yeah. ten seconds. You know, they got that shit done quick this time. It was like, look, ten seconds. It was a fucking knockdown. That's it. Yeah. 
told the refs that they clean up his shit and he had to go to each judge and you know, knock down, knock down, knock down. So yeah, I mean, it, it shouldn't have to take that long. Like, like uh, an instant replay for in the boxing shouldn't like that shouldn't even be able to interrupt. Like, you shouldn't have to interrupt. You know, a fucking fight to do that. Like, because they do that in basketball. In basketball, when they can, when 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 somebody shoots a jumper that's a contested on the line, whether it's a two or the three, they do it. They review it while they're playing, and then once there's a stop in the break, then they say, "Oh, we reviewed it and this and this." Do the same thing with boxing. I'm all for instant replay. Doing it that way, especially. As yeah. long as you keep it quick, you know, under, you know, I, I feel like if you could do it under 30, if you could keep it under 30 seconds, you know, between 10 to 30 seconds, then we good. But once it starts getting to a minute plus, that's when I think it's a problem. Yeah, it is. Because like it's basically, you know, a fighter's been like, you know, either tired or he was hurt before and someone's trying to take advantage of this and he recovers, man. That's a blown chance and that's fucked up. So it's like, you know, but I, I had no problems with it. Like, at least, I mean, they didn't, you know, they, they didn't rush the seat of his knockdown or whatever. I mean, like the Bar- Barbosa. He knew that he needed. Yeah, he did. I mean, Barbosa, he did his thing. But the only thing that I have a question about is, too, is like, I mean, and, and it's just time, I'll ask LBS, like, Sacido gets hit. Like, why is it only that Hooker can actually stop him? Like, Barbosa landed on him a lot, you know, and it, it didn't drop him, like, not once. I mean, he, he, he backed him up a couple of times, but it's just like, you know, and this is 140, you know, 140, some of these 140 cats, you know, they, they, they pretty solid, you know. So. Yeah, they're, they're, they're kind of big guys. Um, I think Hooker is just a better boxer puncher. Like, he, he set up his shots better. He had a better consistent jab on Cicido. So, you know, it just is levels to it. And I'm not saying Maurice Hooker is some top, you know, he's world class. You know, he's a former champion. He's not the best, but... Mm-hmm. There's obviously a level between him and uh, Barbosa Jr. Who Barbosa seemed like he was expending a lot of energy. Yeah, he was throwing that shit. Yeah, I mean he was. I mean he was still. I mean, he, I mean basically, you know, he was doing what Elby would like to call spamming. He was spamming a lot of his combinations a lot. He landed them, yeah. but he was just like boom, 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 boom. Like I mean, I, I really want him to. Like he was going for volume. It's not like he was trying to set up all his shots. You know to get the best out of him like you were just throwing them and yeah. I, I think a part of the reason because Sacido was so easy to hit so he said fuck it hey, he had the stamina to do it you know it never seemed like he got winded winded right yeah no, he you know so he just said fuck it this is my way of beating uh, a guy like Sacido just keep him overwhelmed force him back and just throw 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 mm-hmm. you know box him a little bit but just keep being aggressive uh, assertive and boom Hooker got more power. He didn't have to need that. He didn't have to do all that. He more polished, you know. So the jabs are more meaningful. The setup are even more meaningful right hand. So yeah. So see, yeah, like, like, so, like, so, I mean, so see, like you know, he was catching by really, like I mean, the people. I mean, I mean, yes, so see, was getting hit with every single shot in the book, but he was rocking Barboza like left. It was like little shots. Yeah. Barboza again, like he was getting hit with the left hook a lot. Barboza. you know, I was just like, you know, Barboza like he took he took some punishment, but he didn't take a lot of punishment. Yeah, he, he knew he was in a fight. He got clocked some good times, but yeah. Saucedo just is, is back to the drawing board. Yeah. Um, and he he has to find a way how to neutralize his opponent's offense. Like he he has to get more defensive minded because you yeah. know even if a guy can't hurt him too much, if they outwork him, they'll beat him. Yeah, like I I can't yeah because I just can't see. It's like I was saying like he's gonna get broke. Like one forty has some punches like. The right, the wrong fighter will break this dude if he doesn't know how to move his head. Yeah, I mean, Maurice Hooker already did that. Like, yeah, yeah, because it's like I know he, I know he, did he change trainers from um, trainers from Abel or no, or he stayed with Abel? Saucedo. I don't even know. Yeah, I, I could have sworn he probably changed. You know, I mean, if he did change trainers, like, I, I literally don't see any change in his fighting style. Yeah, and, yeah, let's just say the same. I mean, I mean, so, 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 uh, some fighters just love the fade too much. You know, it's like, you know, sometimes you, you can try to change them, but some just like to go in there and just slug it out, man. I mean, that's just, that's, I mean, that's I just, mean, it's, at the end of the day, it's their career on the line. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like, yeah, we all like a good, you know, fight, but you know, there's got to be more, you know, selective about what type like, of choose your approach. Take. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But no, but at least it kept the energy up, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, the social media loved it. Uh, Twitter, lo- you know, I mean, we liked it. You know, it was it was a damn good fight. It was almost by the year pace, but it kind of sl- it kind of cooled off a little bit. You know, yeah. 
You know, yeah. like they needed they needed some more knockdowns at least at something like that. You know, but it was a great appetizer to uh, a main event. You know, so far just to let y'all know, we getting we getting all pay per view level quality shit here so far. Word for yeah. free, for free. Yeah. So so now when you go into the main event, it's like you you know you feel like everything worked out. You got a quick knockout. And you got a tw- you got a ten round bout that was like one sided but competitive and entertaining. So sure. perfect ingredients to set up a good main event. So and the funny thing is too, top break. They, you know, they, you know, they kept on repeating that shit over and over again. They like they like, yeah, you know, did you? It's free. Like did I, did I say it was free for? Oh yeah, but it's free. You know what I'm saying? We don't. You know, we're not charging. I mean, they had to because you got people out here, you know, celebrating when there's a fucking Charlo pay per view or or a PBC pay per view or. Uh, this nigga fight this nigga that won't fight nobody else pay per view. <laughs> yeah. So you know to to get the best fight of the year and and then have a good compelling undercard and it's for free like yeah yeah they're showing people like look you ain't got that Stockholm syndrome and you ain't got to be forced to enjoy this shit. Exactly. Yeah, know. I mean, but they, they uh, but it, it gets to a point where it's like, um, no, I'm not gonna, I'm the, yeah, you, sh- you should be having these on for free because they shouldn't be pay per view level. So now it's like they want to cook y'all, you know, it's free, 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 free. I'm like, okay, we I get mean, it. well, first of all, they never went about saying like some people that, you know, doesn't boxing need to be on free TV? Let's get pay per view quality matchups on free TV. And then five years later, they're giving you the same match for pay per view. Mm hmm. So I mean, you know, hey, like I said, I ain't got no problem with it. Because yeah, somebody, uh, another promoter, came in the game saying, you know, we are gonna give you all free bouts on uh, regular TV, and they gonna be off the chain. And you know, they did that at first, but then you know, as the time rolled by, they said, hold on, yo, yo, chill, 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 like can't do that shit. You know, make them make them niggas pay, yo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, basically they they work themselves into a shoot, you know. Basically, oh yeah, you know, you know they're like, you know, wait a minute, though, this is a nice concept though, but you know, you know, you know the, the fighters are running us, we're not running the fighters, and you know, and they, you know, they yeah. their own business. <laughs> so so there's that. So yeah. So once again, so you got all this shit for free. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Uh, so the main event. Um. Yeah, it looks like you niggas were wrong. Yeah, you know, uh, yeah. You were wrong. You were wrong. It didn't end in no knockout, though. <laughs> you you picked the right. Yeah, I mean, everybody who damn picked Lopez was wrong in that aspect. Shit, like, <laughs> but we still picked yeah. the right man to win. You know, we weren't blinded by ooh fancy footwork. You know, I mean, you know, ooh Lopez impressive was... boxing skills. Power killed all that shit. Yeah, you know, and like crazy and, and, like, Tommy. Yeah, and, and and like they built and they built their anticipation up nice, you know what I'm saying? Like the first half of the fight, like you know, Loma, like, I mean, obviously, I mean, Loma Taker was pretty much inactive, and then it, and it wasn't, you know, what I mean, he, he basically he felt some shit early, and he didn't like it. Yeah, he was doing his Rocky Warriors impression. Yeah, <laughs> you know, holding his hands up, looking like he wants to throw but doesn't want to throw. Yeah. I think I think the first three rounds, he definitely like was just kind of just. <laughs> seeing seeing what Lopez was doing, but by the fourth one, it was like, nah, now like now he's being befuddled. It wasn't even it was and it was the power, yes, but honestly, it was more the hand speed. I don't think Loma thought that that um, and he, I think even Bradley mentioned that. I don't think Loma thought that he was as fast as he was. Yeah, he was too fast. Yeah, you know, and, yeah. I mean, it, it, I mean, it's bad enough that you know Lopez had the size advantage. And Lopez looked like a, you know, looked like an actual like welterweight, you know, compared to Lomachenko. Actually, looked like his like all one thirty five. I don't even feel like Lopez looked all that bigger than him. No, like, he looked way bigger. bigger. He looked way bigger. But nah, I want to say no welterweight. Like he looked, he looked bigger. He was. You could easily tell that these niggas was not the same size. I don't know about all that. It didn't look like no that weight nigga, book shit. Like, like Lopez looked bigger. But he looked like, 140 fighting at least. 140. Yeah, I can see that. He looked like he, like I don't I mean I don't know how much he weighed, but he looked like he weighed at least like damn 145. Yeah, he's long. He's long. 
he's long. That's the thing. He's, a, he's the more denser guy. Like, he was always going to look bigger. He is bigger than Lomachenko. But as far as, like, I don't think the size had anything to do with it. Like, dude couldn't fuck with the power. He yeah, couldn't it, fuck it, with the angles. Like, he couldn't keep adapting like Lopez was adapting to him. Like, like honestly, think they really overlooked Lopez. They thought he could just do his same routine with everybody else to do it with Lopez. And once he got in there, yeah, you yeah, know, yeah. The, the video yeah, game looked harder playing it himself than watching someone else. Yeah, I mean, Lopez, towards, Lopez, towards Lopez the end, Lomachenko was, was coming back, though. He was coming back. Lomachenko was coming back towards the end. I feel like, I feel like once he felt like the fight was about to be over, that's when he was like, all right, let me let the hands go. And he was connecting. He was actually rocking. When he cut his eye, was that the headbutt that cut him, or was that, that was a headbutt? That was a headbutt. Because yeah, every time, because because Lomachenko was trying to get inside, and every time he would get inside, he basically fucking throw his head, like throw his head. Some Hopkins shit, because he was afraid of the counter. Yeah, that, that shit was annoying. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I mean, in the beginning, like in those, in that first half of the fight, I mean, Lopez was too explosive for him. Like that's where, like the biggest the biggest thing that Lopez did was he was cutting off the ring on Lomachenko constantly like and that, and Lomachenk was forced to reset either he do that stupid you know throw yourself against the ropes type of thing like he was in fucking wrestling and then go to the left and keep circling to his left and I was, <laughs> you know, that shit was annoying the fuck out of me I was like and, and I was hoping that Lopez would at least would get him when he was doing that but he never did but he but he was trying to sneak that uppercut in like it was, it was uppercut season with Lopez Lopez wanted a highlight reel knockout you know, with the upper guy, he was throwing—he he was throwing that shit like constantly. Yeah, he was—he yeah, yeah, was, he was throwing some counter shit. He was throwing some nice counter show you kids. You know the pattern, so he was like, "All right, every time you do that shit, I'm gonna just rock his ass, boom, boom, boom." And then Lomachenko caught on. He was like, "Hold on, this thing is." This thing is rocking me. Hold on. Yeah. Maybe would have been better for Lomachenko because, like, I, I see a lot of people couldn't stand for him to be out box like this. Yeah, it, 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 it's it, it's funny about that. Like, because I mean, you, know, you know how it is. Lomachenko has, I mean, the niggas that you see, like, you know, as being like, you know, tacticians, like, it's something like Rigo. Like, we see Rigo get hit. Niggas, like, no, no. Why is Rigo getting hit like this, man? You know, why is he getting why is he getting hit like this? And the same with Chico, it's like Loma Chico's getting outboxed? Really? That could happen? You know like, Wow, I can't believe it. Yeah, it's so like what, So what would you say? You would would you say he lost that or Timo won that? Timo won, won that. Yeah, won that the hell. <laughs> yeah, like I yeah. didn't I didn't go back leaving I didn't leave the fight thinking that there's something Lomachenko could have done. Like, that's what I, I felt asking. like yeah. that was all yeah. he could no, do. No, but the, but his 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 hardcore rabid stand base would try to juxtapane it and say, well, if Loma had just started earlier, like if only he was that's started what I felt like. earlier. I felt like he just a couple of rounds. He, he didn't listen. He didn't go in there saying, oh, I'm gonna give up the first five rounds. Like he didn't go in there saying that. He wasn't doing it on purpose. Tail Fimo was making it hard for him to fucking win those rounds. The, and, the, and then motherfuckers think that he was actually doing that shit. Like you don't take five rounds to download somebody. Yeah. You take you take three rounds. At, you take three rounds at most, and 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 you should still be throwing. Like I hate that. Oh yeah, well. exactly. Not this. Yeah, like like Teofimo Lopez turned that nigga to Bado Jack, bro. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like you know, and and, and pretty much like I. That, it was the first six rounds were all Lopez. It was easy. Like that wasn't even like a thing. I was like this. There was no swing rounds to me. People were like, people were like, oh well, you know, like um Lomachenko's just downloading information right now. He's just downloading information. Well, I mean, if he's downloading, then his fucking his mental computer must be operating on Windows 95. <laughs> so y'all didn't have him winning those later rounds? Well, uh, let me get to that. He, he won like maybe three of those, but I mean, he won yeah, like I four. four. I, honestly, he won I'm four. My, honestly, I might, I might. Yeah, he he won five. I thought he won six to eleven. You know, I, I, I thought he, I thought he. I mean, Lomachenko was like, you know, he could have done this shit a lot earlier. You know, I don't I, agree. I, I I gave honestly, I gave Lo, I gave Lopez the first seven rounds. I legitimately gave him the first seven rounds. And yeah, no. no, he won. Lomachenko, Lomachenko won the second round clearly. No, he no, he, clearly, absolutely oh, not. No, oh. absolutely not. He hit him with like two punches and that was it. Like <laughs> that wasn't rocked, enough. Rocked like, him, he rocked him and he kept him away. 
No, he didn't give him away. He just he I mean, rocked. honestly, I had Lomachenko winning the second round, but it was one of those since he exploded and I yeah, felt like those punches were better. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, either no, way, I didn't I, give him the second. I didn't give him the second. <laughs> I mean, but in the second half of the fight, though, I mean, Lopez, though, for whatever, I mean, I don't know if it was just the stamina or his work rate started going down, but Lomachenko was tagging him. Like, I mean, he decided to sacrifice himself, and he was actually getting inside and actually hitting him with combinations. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was just annoying because he was doing dirty tactics to, to fucking get inside because he couldn't get yeah. inside anyway, anywhere else. Either coming in with the head or fucking, t- like, stepping, up, stepping on his feet, like, any, like, stupid shit like that. Yeah, and the nigga was hitting new, new like, shit. Niggas hit him with like the elbow smashes like fucking Dusty Rhodes, nigga. <laughs> I'm telling you, that's that's how the vets fight, yo. When you've been doing it for so long, you can do little shit like that. That's how you, they learn that. You feel know I me? Mean? Yeah, or you know, he yeah, he definitely he learned that from the Salido fight. Yeah, because with the Salido fight, when he took his first L, then all of a sudden, like this dude, this dude got his education in pro boxing, and you know, he put in he put in the work. That, that's the reason why, like, he's not he learned from that Salido fight in more ways than one. He said, he's like, hmm, let me. He fought dirty against me. Let me fight dirty. Like, yeah, that shit ain't work. I mean, it changed his life. <laughs> <laughs> it did. Yeah, it gave him a run up until now. Like, that shit, Lopez, no. Like, so, you, kid so you say his run is over? You say Lomachenko's done now? That's all right. He's not done, done, nah. But. Now, he's not done, done, but in a way, I felt like. That's being a top contender. His, his fire been nah, extinguished. Nah, now nah, he's still he's still a top contender at lightweight, but Teofimo got his number. So yeah, you know he's definitely not done. And in the twelfth round, though, I mean, and like, like I said to me, the twelfth round, I thought it's like if if Lopez doesn't win this shit, you know, clear like this this could be interesting on the scorecards at least before the scorecards were actually read. And I was and I, I was impressed by Lopez. Lopez actually bit down and it's like you know what, nah, fuck this. But Lopez. You know, start swinging on his ass too. You know, yeah, he had a he had a Kovalev Hopkins twelfth round. Like, yeah, exactly. And that's how you gotta do it. Like, look, man, we fight like close. Yeah, like when you fight these older fighters, and you know you gotta take it away from them. You gotta make when, sure you get that. Rhythm. Yeah, that last round, you gotta put your fucking blood clot foot in they ass. Yep, and and, and, I, and I think Lomachenko's nose, like LB is saying, like his his nose got broken in that round too. Yep. Yeah, L- Lopez was throwing some some mean ones. Like he was really like piling on, even though the ref hated and tried to fuck up the last ten seconds on some yeah. Tim Bradley, Jesse Vargas. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it, it, Moore, it, 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 yeah, always always a Russell Moore. Uh, so always something with a Russell Moore. <laughs> Like, and and we would all been saying, you know, Russell Moore didn't fuck it up too. Like he had ten seconds from us saying that until he just said, you know what? I'm not gonna doubt you guys. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna give y'all what y'all want. Yeah, yeah everyone complained that I was gonna fuck it up. So yes, I'm gonna fuck it up. Like, yeah, you remember me? You did, but it ain't stop. Lopez was beating his ass. Yeah, but no, nah, but I, I saw I saw that Russell Moore a little, little too. Like, cause he was doing all the warnings, all the low blow, like the the warnings again for for, for going too low. I'm like, but Loma is literally backing up every time. He's like, he's not trying to fucking aim low. It's just Loma keeps fucking backing up every backing time. Backing up and jumping. <laughs> Jumping, yeah. twisting yeah. away, like, yeah, dude, like, you know, supposed to be, like some amateur let legend. Know. Let me know, cause I heard also in a fight he was like, "Yo, watch your legs." I ain't never heard that in a boxing match before. Yeah, but, you can't be tangling your legs up like some people, like, cause you know. Yeah, you, he, he was. I never heard, I never heard he was stepping on his legs a couple of times, stepping on his foot, like everything. He was a whole lot of dirty shit. It made me look at Loma a little differently. Hey you know, man, when you get your ass whooped, you look yeah. at life differently. <laughs> Those are shit that you want to do when you winning, you'll do when you're losing, man. Trust me, bro. Right. Like, right. For unification. This was for the unification. He was going to try every old man trick in the book. Like, he was going to use shit from a Ukraine boxing school when he was damn five years old or some shit. Like, right. he, he was going to use some unseen shit. Like, Lopez brought it out of him. That was that, was that doubt. Yeah. That was it, you know. And But it was too fucking late. You know, Lomachenko. Like I said, you know, Badu Jack pretty much, you know, he didn't give himself a chance to do anything. You, when you drop six yeah. rounds in a fight, you know, you can't be, you can't be, you know, acting like, you know, like a sore loser thinking like I shouldn't have lost. However, to be fair, two of the score, two of the official scores were on some absolute bullshit. Starting with the the big the elephant in the room with fucking Julie Letterman. 
who, who who's turning some horrific. Well, the, the one, the one nineteen, one oh nine was the only bad score. Yeah, me. yeah. I was gonna say the one seventeen, one eleven is one seventeen, one eleven was still uh, on point. Like, uh, I, 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 I had it because I had it. it was What'd you say, bro? I said it was close to that. I mean, because so you got niggas saying that Lopez won the first seven no. fucking rounds. So it's like, how many rounds y'all expect this nigga to win in the second half if y'all already gave him all of the first seven? Like, I mean, Lomachenko won, like, maybe one round early, a swing round, and then he ran, he won, like, maybe two to three rounds late. I mean, That's I had, I mean, I had one for two. No, no, because here's 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 how I looked at it. Like, and this is my opinion. I, like I said, I, I had Lopez up the first seven rounds. I gave um, Lomachenko eight through eleven, and then I gave Lopez the the, the twelfth round. But the ninth round to me was a, was a close round. Like you could have given that one to Teofimo too. So if I gave that, because I'm like thinking like, but I gave I ended up giving it to uh, Lomachenko. If I would have given that to Lopez, I would have ended up with one seventeen one eleven. Like. I mean, I, I mean, to me, I had it a little bit closer, like I said, because I had six. I gave um, seven to eleven to Lomachenko, and then twelve That's I gave it to Lopez. You know, which for exactly. the- yeah, I didn't see no Lomachenko take over like that. To me, no, the fight wasn't that close. At the end, he started coming back. He realized it was over. And he was, he was, he was doing better, yeah, but yeah. that's the thing. Lomachenko wasn't sweeping all of those rounds. Like he made them competitively better. Like I'm not saying he didn't win some. Of course, he won some of those but rounds. The combos. You got to realize the combos he was throwing plus power punches. He yeah, was. They, they, they were. Like, like, I, I didn't see all that. Like. I saw him doing combos and landing, but then Lopez would land a good shot, and then Lomachenko would back up three feet and not do shit for ten seconds. I mean, but it was a one punch versus a combo to me. That's what I was seeing. Yeah, but if the combo has gets takes, if the, isn't as meaningful as the one punch. Yeah, then what good is the combo? Yeah, like you. Okay, okay. He kept Lomachenko. Yeah, he kept Lopez I, 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 off. Trust me, like, trust me, Rome. You know. I see niggas. In the, trust me, Rome. I see niggas in the gym sparring, throwing flashy combos. That it's like, okay, you did all that and it did nothing, and then you hit them with one punch and they like bam be on ice. Not all those combos are meaningful. Okay, but he was. I mean, they were clean combos. He yeah, they were like he, he was tagging, like no he was tagging uh, Lopez up pretty good. Yeah, I, I don't know. Lopez, I was, Lopez was never as hurt as people tried to make him out to me. I think the only time I think I felt like he was hurt maybe a little bit was in the eleventh. But other than that, he wasn't really hurt. Like I he, think like he, he took the punches. Like I felt like he he knew Lomachenko couldn't hurt him. Like he knew like like Lomachenko kind of knew that dude was a little tired because the dude had to be focused that whole time. So he stepped on the gas a little more, and Lopez seemed like he kind of just would take little breathers and he would eat the combos, whatever. Then he'd regroup and fire back, and then Lomachenko would, you know, start acting like Swift and Badu Jack, and it would start all over again. Right, but I mean, regardless of I me mean, how people score, like one thing for sure was it was there was no one nineteen one oh nine in that fight. Absolutely no, no one nineteen one oh nine. But yeah. but but it was a, a clear like one sided ass fight to me like like it wasn't no fucking close you know I, I feel like seven rounds to five you're giving Lomachenko like the benefit of the, the benefit of the doubt too much but yeah, as long as you had this nigga winning and it's no draw then yeah, I feel we, like it's, fuck it it's still a good score like you know so so what do you think about Andre Ward saying it was a draw. Oh, Andre Ward was pretty. Andre, no, Andre, 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 Andre Ward is on some bullshit. Like he was because he he had picked um, Lomachenko to win from the beginning. Meanwhile, Bradley was hyping up Teofimo and then saying from the beginning that he was going to win. So Andre Ward doesn't like being right. Does wasn't oh, like being wrong. wrong. So he, so he yeah, they're all by. He don't like being wrong. So like he tried to fix the, the scorecard in a way that it made it seem like as as good as he could for him to, to give him a draw. Like oh well, I picked I, I picked Loma to win, but I didn't think he lost. Yeah, nah, mm, fuck yeah, out of here. I definitely no draw. Like at, at, at worst. You can have it 115, 113 for Lopez, but there's no way you can have the fighter draw or, or for Lomachenko. Like he, he, he lost this fight. The right he guy won. He very much did. You know, like, if 119, 109 is bad, then fucking 114, 114 is just as bad. 
Yeah, and like people were people were on Twitter were calling out like people were pissed at War because he was he was shilling his ass off like you know he yes had man no ass. thing and in between that and him talking about punching which I was telling LB about too it was like 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 I mean War just needs to I don't know what his issue is but you know yeah he needs to fall the fuck back like like he it just yeah, I got flashbacks to the uh, Ramirez postal card where you know he didn't know what a jab was like. Like if there's anybody who fell off this year with commentating, damn is Ward. Yeah, and Ward, and, and like I mean, as I understand, I mean, because he got a bag for it. Now that's the thing, though, because he, he, you know, and it, it seems like I don't know, he, he's showing his ass off. Now he's a company man, you know. It's like call. Yeah, but has has it ever been a bigger company man than this dude? Like this dude really be copying it up, like like. I know if Jim Lampley used to piss people off, then y'all could not not see Ward be harder than Jim Lampley now. Like, with yeah. this. And, and and the reason why, because I mean, Lampley is like you know, Lampley's never boxed before, you know that type of stuff. But you know, Ward yeah. obviously, I mean, it's hard. Like, so people just don't like what Ward has to say. So like, why is Ward saying that? You know, Ward's being a company man and shit like that. You know? Yeah, but I'd rather I'd rather hear a guy who never boxed before be a little more objective than a guy who boxed before and he's like super biased. And you know, yeah, he was he was wild. I mean, Bradley was uh, Bradley was keeping it real for the most part, you know? which he does for the most part. Like, yeah, I mean, Brad. I mean, don't think Bradley. Bradley just sometimes he, he goes on his little tangents or whatnot, you know. But yeah. I tell you, you know, Ward is just like he's a straight man with this, and he's just like, but he was just like his scorecard was kind of ridiculous at times, you know. He was the shit that he was saying. Yeah, draw. You know, get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what fight he was watching. Like, like, bro, just face it, Lomachenko got his ass kicked. Like, he lost clearly. Like, I mean, it's part two because I was, I was watching, uh, um, I was looking on Twitter for, uh, um, what's his name? Like, that be falling, um, that, from the MW falling boxing, um, fucking Dane. Yeah, yeah, he was telling, he was telling, well, see, I told y'all was right. He was talking, but well, now I'm two and zero against predictions against you, like Andre. Like, I mean, you, you have to have an NBA basketball player tell you that you're that you're wilding. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Dame Lillard tried his ass. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, know, it's just like you know, Ward needs to, Ward just needs to chill and really call it as he see. Like he he used to do yeah. that. I don't, I don't yeah, know. like stop with this narrative shit. Like he, he's feeling himself, man. Like yeah. If you see Kovalev get knocked out a few times, and it's like you on some other shit. Yeah, you know, it's like hey, just call it, just call it as you see it, bro. You know, so just stop. You know, stop being so extra. <laughs> yeah. You know, but uh, but yeah, no, but yeah, it, it was good though. You know, Lopez won, and now uh, you know he's virtually the ruler of lightweight of, of lightweight division. Even though top rank is like, um, oh yeah, he's the WBC lightweight champion. Oh no, he's not the WBC lightweight champion. Well, he's a French champion. Well, it's four belts. It's really three belts. Like, you know, top rank likes to. I mean, and the point is, they 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 put themselves in that stupid situation. Yeah, email email champions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was like, you know, they they disrespecting the fuck out of Devin Haney. It's like, you know, you know, it's, it's like. Well, dude, what? dude needs to step it up by now. Like, you know, see, if, if the Gamboa fight wasn't lined up, you know, I feel like, you know, if he had a good fight lined up, then I don't think you can really get on him like that. Like how you with Ryan Garcia got Campbell, but since Haney got Gamboa, it's like, yeah, you got to put that pressure out there, man. Like you can't yeah, no. say you ducked. If you out here fighting Gamboa. Yeah, but but I mean, none of that matters because at the end of the day, he was the mandatory and they did all this shit to not give him the fight. And Teofimo, um, and, and Teofimo didn't go the WBC route. He went the IBF route. So like none of these guys went anywhere near Haney. We can't get mad at him for that. And he was- yeah, but hold on. Is that even blaming Lopez? Because Lopez, if no. he went after another champion, no, who's I'm better not, than anybody I'm, no. he fought, like I'm, I'm not blaming. No, I'm not blaming Lopez. I'm just saying that no, like we're saying he needs to step up his competition. But like he was the like oh well, you know he's he was the mandatory, so he, he was, was supposed to fight, and he was supposed to fight Luke Campbell before fucking um, Loma snatched him away from him. So like he's obviously yeah. kind of getting fucked. He was getting fucked over with these chances. So it's like it it, it, go, it goes both ways. That's all I'm saying. But at the end of the day, he's still fighting fucking Gamboa, bro. Like he's not making he's not making a strong case for yeah, him. That's a bull. Yeah, that's a, he should have fought Fortuna. Like he should have at least fought Fortuna. He was supposed to fight Fortuna before he had the shoulder surgery. Or yeah. yeah. 
P.I. Well, is, is he talented? Is he one of the top guns in uh, lightweight? Yeah. But if if Lopez, you know, because Lomachenko, he's going to have to stay in the division. He's not going to move up. So I still feel like it's more on Lomachenko to fight this dude than, than Lopez because Lopez won. He said he, you know, he, he beat his two champions at lightweight. Like, what else niggas want him to do? Like, let him move up, get the winner of Pro Gray. Um, I'm sorry, uh, Ramirez and uh, Taylor and and, and 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 keep doing what he doing. Like, you know, sometimes it, it does work like that. Like, not everybody's tr- career trajectory aligns. Like Lomachenko is the one who who petitioned for that franchise bullshit. If he want to get, if Lomachenko want to gain re- relevancy back, because he can't just fight some no name scrub coming back. You know, if he want to be a top guy, he's gonna have to fight a Haney. He's gonna have to fight a damn uh, Tank winner or, Lo- or, or Ryan Santa Garcia. Cruz fight. Or Ryan Garcia. Or Ryan Garcia. So, well, I, think, well, I think with that, because I think what's gonna happen is I do think that. You know, Teofimo's going to go up to 140, so all the belts will be vacant. I think then you'll have Ryan and Campbell fight each other, so that's going to be the first domino to drop, and then we'll see how it goes from there. Yeah, and the first thing is, too, and, like, and um, Teofimo Sr. was alluding, I mean, first of all, Teofimo Sr. was talking big shit in the post fight. Like, dude was violent. It was like, I mean, he, he, he earned the right to talk big yeah. shit. <laughs> Yeah, he, he was like, uh, maybe if it's still spoiler, needs to needs to roll him in more dance lessons and shit. Like, dude was dude was smug as hell talking shit. <laughs> He's talking big shit. But I mean, look how Loma and all them niggas dismissed him. Like, yeah, you're yeah. always gonna sound crazy until you don't sound crazy. Yeah, exactly. You know, but he also alluded to it. It's like you know that um, the move to 140 is the is is like the way unless they offer him like a big money fight. You know, so pretty much, I mean, the big money fight obviously is probably like a tank fight. Like you know. They'll, they'll, they'll probably stay at 135 for a Tank, maybe, because, you know, Tank is uh, Tank. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, if Tank beats LSC... That would be, know. like, one of the biggest damn, you know... I feel like that's, like, the Zab floyd fight for the for, for like if we get that shit like <laughs> we need like a big young fight like we haven't had nothing... It's always, some, you know, the young nigga versus the old nigga type shit. Like, we need a big... You know, both guys are damn I mean, in their 20s or early 30s. Type Honestly, what, what is the last time that we actually had a fight like that? I mean, unless I'm just drawing a blank. Like, you know, we actually had... We like, have it. Yeah. We have it. That's a point. Yeah, like top young prospects actually fight. And I, 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 I support all those type of fights, you know. You know, I ask for those fights all the goddamn time. <laughs> you know, so it's just like... Yeah, I, yeah like a and little... I feel like that, that fight is more, you know... It's not like uh, NS or T's where you're like, okay, let one of them become a champion. Or I feel like Lopez Tank is like, like ready now. Like, yeah, you know, just it, it, I mean, just Tank has to. Or, or when I say now, like ne- by next year type shit. Yeah, as long as Tank actually gets by LSC and he actually looks, he actually looks. Oh, good he, dude. oh, he will. Like, I mean, I'm I'm laughing at this fight, but whatever, it is what it is. Yeah, no, yeah, I, I have some words for Tank and LC because when, when, when we do the... I mean, um, it's 2020, like, mm-hmm. going back, if somebody told you Lopez was going to outbox Lomachenko, outfight him, just undress him, you would probably be like, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, you, you'd be called all types of names, like, you know, Stanley, all types of shit, nigga. It's just like, you know, it's, 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 you just have to fight the fight to see how they play out. <laughs> and when you know, you know. You know what I'm saying? You know, but yeah, but yeah, no, it's good though, cause I I just hope this starts to you know it starts the fact that a you know some of these young cats out here don't you know they don't need to wait forever in a day to actually you know to actually you know to get to get somewhere you know take a big fight or whatever. It'd be Fimo, a is like... Yeah, Tio Fimo is 15, uh, 15, 16 fights now, and he and he rules the division. So it's like you know young fighters need to be like you know you can't be out here. It's like well I need to go I need to do this. No, like sometimes you, you just got you gotta roll the dice and take the yeah, fight. Yeah, no more pussy footing around. You say you the best, you got next. You got skills, you got all the speed, you got this power. But goddamn, improve it and, and and fight someone that can take you to the next level, so you can start getting these main event and these big boxing events, so you could be a part of the history of the sport and shit, and and not be one of the weight classes where you got five or six good young niggas and no one fought each other. Exactly, you know, and even Tank himself was a victim of this. Like, I mean, everyone knows that you know pretty much he didn't want to fight for Jaza for his for that for his um lightweight belt. You know, Floyd pretty much made fight because Floyd thought he was ready, but Tank was throwing fits about that shit. And well, look what happened—he knocks up Pedraza. 
<laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's legit, like his best win, and it's, that a legit, win. it's his only legit belt, really. You know, so it's like, you know, like that just say you some people like, like the trainers be seen him better than their own people, like, mm-hmm. like you, you know, when you don't, you know, if you if you're looking at someone and you're evaluating their talent and skills, you know when they're ready sometimes more than they're ready. Exactly. It's just I think. Since niggas is getting paid so good, they're living the lifestyle. They're making it seem like they think they're bigger, but they not necessarily a better boxer right. already for that superstar shit. Right. You know.